One death is confirmed from the hurricane. About 260,000 people are without power right now in Florida as well. And there is flooding, of course. Our live coverage continues in Tampa, where we find ABC's M. Wynn. Yeah, Tanya, here in the Tampa Bay area, rain had steadily come down all morning, causing some surrounding streets to flood. Today, Hurricane Idalia making landfall in Florida's Big Bend as an extremely dangerous Category 3 storm, downgrading from a short-lived Category 4, according to the National Weather Service. The storm making a direct hit near Keaton Beach. Oh, my goodness. In the Tampa Bay area, streets flooded. Idalia bringing life-threatening storm surges and knocking out power for hundreds of thousands of customers. Do not go outside in the midst of this storm. Uh, if it's calm uh, where you are, it may be because you are in the eye of the storm and those conditions will change very, very quickly. The National Weather Service calling Idalia an oh unprecedented event. No! Since no major hurricanes on record have ever passed through the region. My house okay. is down in Keaton. Okay. I don't know if it's there or not. We've never seen this before. Ca category 1 has scared us, man. I mean, we've, we, this right here is bad. <laughs> At least 30 Florida counties placed under mandatory evacuation orders. Idalia, large enough to be seen from space. Experts say human impacted climate change has caused ocean temperatures to rise, which supercharges tropical storms. It's 88, 89 degrees over where the storm's going to be tracking, so that's effectively rocket fuel for the storms. Tampa Electric says tens of thousands of workers from more than 20 states from as far away as Maine are standing by to help restore power after the storm passes. And the governor says that search and rescue will begin as soon as the storm fully subsides. We know that eight teams are standing by, with 5,500 National Guardsmen also being ready to be deployed. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.